Hi, hey, what's going on everyone? James here. Well, it is officially New Year's Eve 2015. Hard to believe. <laughs> um, now, now, because it is New Year's Eve, you know, the very end of 2015, as of tomorrow it'll officially be 2016, I thought that um, in order to wrap up the year um, on a good note, I thought I would um, upload two videos today, this being the first one. So the two videos I'll be uploading first off is this one, which is my 2015 um, collection video. And then the second video will basically be a, a kind of um, general overview or look back over the course of the year to see what I've accomplished or what I've managed to do, etc. So first off, this is my collection video. Now, um, since I last did, now since I did my last haul video of sorts, um, a few things I've changed. I've got a couple of different or a couple of new things. I've changed up um, the layout of a couple of different things around the room. Uh, but for the most part, um, a lot of a lot of the stuff has generally gone unchanged. But I'm just going to go through all of it one last time because again, end of the year. So let's take a look. Okay, so over here on the desk, hopefully the camera focuses. There we go. Um, now this is actually one of my first, or this is actually um, a lot of my Lego collection at the moment, which is a scary amount. Um, by the way, this is my brand new camera would focus. Come on. Okay. Um, this is my all new Surface Pro Four. I have to say it's very very cool. I've um, been watching a little bit of Transformers Prime on it. I, I have to admit, it's been a while since I've last seen the show from start to finish, and I forgot how good the show was. Um, or still is, I should say. So, there's that. Um, but for the most part, um, this is my LEGO collection. Now, I, I, I have about... Um, now what's this? Uh, that's about 5, that's 9, 9 by 6. Or, uh, yeah. Um, I have about 54 of these little storage drawers, um, primarily for just sorting out different types of Lego. And right behind, behind the surface here is um, a new storage unit, or storage drawers, that um, I got for Christmas. Now I have to say, these are actually pretty... Actually, sorry, the camera's not focusing. There we go. Now, um, these are actually pretty cool because each of these actually... Um, pivot outward, so that actually saves a little bit of trouble from just simply pulling them out and fearing that these will fall out. Um, so yeah, I'm very impressed with how these look. Um, and on the top I have a couple of little minifigs. On this side I have the Lego Dimensions Emmet. Um, in the middle is, I know this is going to sound ultra dorky, but um, this is my Lego adaptation of myself. A um, little Iron Man helmet there. And then over here I have um, Owen from Jurassic World with one of the um, Raptors. And again, this is from the Dimensions pack. So overall, this is um, all the Lego that I have, at least uh, to do with the table. Um, up here, I've got a, um, in this Transformers box is a lot of the recent um, tech that I've bought to, uh, or tech accessories that I'll go with the Pro. Um, or the Surface Pro, sorry, a little fan that I got for it. Um, overall, that's the desk sorted. Um, moving on to this, on to my storage unit, um, or storage shelves. Um, down below, I have, this is my um, sort of like custom and slash paint stuff. So this is where I'll store all my paint. Um, actually, this is something. I recently bought this little wooden tray because um, it allows much greater access to the paint tins themselves. So that's a lot easier. Um, you know, overall, just that. Uh, a lot of papers, a lot of junk in here. Um, actually, the fourth shelf that I have for Transformers. Uh, this is just for Transformers that I don't have any storage room for at the moment. Um, on this shelf is my Combiner Wars stuff. Um, now, one of my New Year's resolutions for 2016 is to finally get um, the remaining, uh, what is it, um, the remaining four um, Combiner Wars figures that I need. So that'll be like, say for example, that'll be Wild Rider, um, Quickslinger, I think his name is, um, Firefly, uh, Ariad, you know, th those guys will be um, what I'll get for to finish off Superion and Minosaur. Currently debating whether I want whether or not I want to get uh, Devastator. Really like the look of Devastator. Um, 
you know, as of as of this moment. I wasn't a big fan of a few months ago, but I think it's the figure starting to grow on me. So, um, but yeah, for the time being, this is my Combiner Wars shelf. Up on this shelf is my primary Decepticon shelf. Um, actually, in the back there, hopefully the camera focuses, um, I have my Transformers Prime Custom Predaking, uh, Viacon, uh, Grim, Grimwing, um, and I have R.I.D. Fracture. Actually, here in the front is my most frequent, er, sorry, my most recent R.I.D. acquisition, which is R.I.D. Uh, Megatronus. His review will actually be going up tomorrow as the first official review of 2016. That's awesome. Um, so, of course, in the middle we have uh, Megatron and their Skywarp. Then on this, sh this top, very top shelf is my Autobots. So, in the back we have Hound, we have Drift, uh, Transformers Prime First Edition Cliffjumper, um, RC, uh, Smokescreen, um, Age of Extinction First Ev or, um, Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. I was looking for a new look form because his gun was simply just being held, was Merely being um, traced across the front of him and being held in the other hand. So I have to admit that that pose actually looks pretty good. Um, and in the front I have Transformers Cybertron Legends Hotshot and Optimus Prime. Um, for those of you who um, I, I either you haven't heard or I haven't said before, these two are actually the very first Transformers I ever got. In fact, this Optimus right here is the very first Transformer I ever bought um, in... I think it was June or July of 2006. So, you know, I'm really pleased that I was able to hold on to this one for so long. So yeah, and at long last, on the very, actually, I'll need to step up for this one. And on the very top shelf is my current Bionicle collection. So on this side we have, I have um, Tahu, which I bought earlier in the year. And over here is um, Onua that I got as a gift from my friend Matt for Christmas. Um, and for their golden, sorry about that, um, for their golden masks, I've actually created this little custom stand. Um, not, nothing nothing um, phenomenal, but ju just something simple to keep, to display them. And for the most part, I think it worked out okay. So that is the top, so this is this um, sword shelf. The camera would focus. There we go. So moving across to um, the wardrobe and storage. Um, over here is my drone that I got for my birthday earlier in the year. Still love this. Um, haven't been flying it as much as I want to of late, but definitely want to get back out flying again. Um, and of course, on the very top of the wardrobe is my Lego collection that isn't on the desk. So this primarily consists of minifigs, sets, various creations and whatnot. So, going from left to right, I don't know if the camera would focus. Okay, um, here is my Lego Marvel Super Heroes collection. So starting off with Iron Man in the Mark 43, the Mark 45, my Mock Hulkbuster, still love um, the detail that went into that. Um, just for the record, not 100% my own creation, um, based off of photos that I saw of, from an account on Flickr. So, not 100% my own design. The only unique thing that I've done with this, compared to the original, was I gave it wrists. So, there's that. Um, Captain America, Black Widow with her custom batons. Thor with a custom painted um, Mjolnir. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Hawkeye with a custom painted black quiver, very nice. Um, Hulk, Vision, Scarlet Witch with um, red discs to better um, represent her powers, as well as, sorry the camera doesn't focus all that well, as well as a custom painted um, dark brown hair piece. Unfortunately, this, the hair piece didn't work out the exact way that I wanted, but thankfully, um, Lego is actually doing a Lego Captain America Civil War um, sets or series and in them or in one of the sets which is kind of like um, a airport attack um, or Scarlet Witch is actually one of the minifigs in them um, who actually has much better who's much more accurate to the movie than her if sorry 
So in the Lego Captain America Civil War set, she is much more accurate to the film than she is than her um, Age of Ultron counterpart. So moving across, we got Quicksilver, um, my various Ultron minifigs, um, Baron Von Strucker, focus on again, Baron Von Strucker with four Hydra henchmen, um, then we got um, Star-Lord, Rocket Raccoon, I, I am Groot. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't tell myself. Um, moving across, I, we got Nebula, um, custom um, Scott Lang as Ant-Man. Actually, that is something um, I've really, um, not too long ago, I did a custom of the, of the Ant-Man helmet, where I basically tried to fill in um, the cowl. Um, unfortunately, that did not work out as well as I had hoped, but I'm at least glad that it's a little bit more accurate to the movie. Um, so, custom um, Scott, sorry, camera's focusing. So, custom Scott Lang in the back, um, custom Hank Pym with, if I can reach him, with a custom painted grey hairpiece, which for the most part doesn't look too bad. Yeah, the camera's, the camera keeps um, dropping out of focus, so, fix that later. Um, Next we have Yellow Jacket with a custom um, backpack apparatus which is um, pretty much 100% based off of the custom backpack um, apparatus created by MGF Customs. Very awesome backpack and very awesome customizer, please check him out. Um, Miles Morales Spider-Man. Then in terms of the sets, um, I have the um, Age of Ultron Quinjet, the um, Avengers Tower. Uh, the Hydra Tank, um, I forget what you, um, the little mining pod from Guardians of the Galaxy, um, have the little cradle that Vision is created from. Then moving across to Ninjago, I'll go again going from left to right, I have Kai, I have Zane with um, a custom painted silver hairpiece. So as to try and be a little bit more accurate to that of the television series. Um, next I next is J. Cole, Lloyd, Nia, and Sensei Wu. Now of course I have actually bought, um, accumulated quite a few minifigs um, during our time here in Australia. So I just have um, all of the different costumes or outfits um, in the back. And in addition, I actually have the Titanium Xeon or Titanium Ninja minifig that came with the Titanium Dragon or as well as the Lego Dimensions set earlier in the year. So I'm very happy to have that. And speaking of Lego Dimensions, I actually have the Samurai Mech from Dimensions as well as the Samurai X from the Tournament of Elements series. So that's pretty cool. Going back, um, I have the little um, sort of like Samurai X grapple thing from the Titanium Mech battle. Um, Zane's Mech, which I have to say I still love the detail that went into it, um, going to the back here, is the Titanium Dragon. Love, absolutely love that set. Head, I have a couple of nitpicks about. Um, however, I've actually done quite a few extensive modifications or updates to the set. If the camera will focus. A um, couple of um, cheese, or a couple of, um, let me see if I can get this one. Um, I've actually added quite a few of these little um, slope pieces to the set um, because I want to, whoops, because I want to try and give the, illu the illusion of ice um, on the set because of course ice is very sharp and jaggedy. Yeah, I know that's not a word, sorry. Um, but I just wanted to give it a very sort of um, sharp appearance um, especially on the legs where a lot of the work went into so very so very pleased with how that worked out um, in addition I also got the master Wu dragon and unlike it's unlike the titanium dragon um, the master Wu dragon has gone through very few modifications the only real update is that <coughs> excuse me I've actually provided um, the master Wu dragon with um, a Rian. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, looking behind is the Destiny's Bounty, I suppose 2.0 you could call it. Very, Still very impressed as to how big this thing is. 
and underneath um, was actually a blue base plate that I've since um, tiled over with white plates um, and Lloyd's green bike is in there. I was just looking for a little bit of extra storage or extra space. So yeah, pretty pleased with how that worked out. So if I actually get down from here and look up at all of it, Now that, I will admit, is a huge collection. Um, in fact, the three minifigs that um, you saw over there earlier, um, they were actually um, in, that little ex in that little gap right there. But because in 2016, I, I potentially planned to buy a couple more Ninjago sets, definitely a lot more Marvel sets, um, I'd need that extra space for any new characters that will be coming in. Um, of which the least include, um, or at the very least, to which some characters may include um, Miss Marvel, Thanos, um, um, if we're counting a couple of the other Marvel ones, but um, but nonetheless, I'm very pleased with how all this looks, um, and I will admit that has been a huge, huge collection, and pretty much all of this has been bought this year, the only exception being like st being like Star Lord. Our Lord, um, who I got, who I got for Christmas last year, so yeah, that has all of this has gone up this year, which is insane. So yeah. Okay, the camera focuses. Okay, um, I'm at least hoping that's focused. Um, but yeah, this year I have this has been one of the biggest collections I've ever gotten this year. You know, now in my next video, or in the second video today, which is going to be talking about anything that I've accomplished or done during this year, um, I'll be talking about, you know, how much I actually invested in all this. Um, you know, it's not something that I know, that I never really did before, but this year, but this year I wanted to be a little bit more transparent um, on, you know, my spending patterns, if you will. So hopefully, hopefully um, you see where that goes. But nonetheless, this has been a really, really good year. Um, you know, a lot more Lego. Very impressed with the quality of Lego this year. Um, and yeah, very, very impressed. So, um, until the second video, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.